Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, today's class topic is going to be the different types of lashes. This video isn't going to be too long, hopefully. I tend to go on and on about this conversation because it's been a little controversial in the lash industry. But I just want you guys to stay open-minded with me here when we talk about this because it seems like the only people who can't understand this topic are the people who are very closed-minded okay so there are um synthetic lashes mink lashes and silk lashes none of the mink lashes are made from mink none of the silk lashes have silk in them okay all the lashes that we use in the lash industry are made up of PBT. Let me make sure I'm giving you guys the right abbreviation. It's a plastic fiber. Now, depending on how they process it, gives us the different density of our lashes, which then people have used marketing terms such as silk, because they some of them can feel like silk. Um, synthetic is going to be a more heavy plastic looking lash. Mink is going to be a more soft and fluffy lash. Um, so for marketing purposes, they have used these different terms. If uh, people, people have argued me down about, yes, there is such thing as mink lashes. It's mink hair. No, it is not. It takes a lot to catch and skin a mink. And if you thought you were using mink hair for mink lashes there is no way to cruelty free skin a mink and then when you get mink wet it's really like um like slick kind of like a sea otter or a um I don't even know what else to compare it to. A platypus, it's it's not anything you would want to be gluing to anyone's eyes. Um, and then when you dry the mink, it's like fluffy. Like, like fluffy to the point of if someone had mink fur on their eyelashes, you would probably want to ask them, are you okay? There is no such thing as a true mink lash, okay? It's a term that came um as for marketing purposes okay so um you just want to note that when you are picking the type of lash you're going to use you want to test these things out um another thing as far as density uh 0 0.15 0 0.20 0 0.7 those points used to be very popular um, I don't go over a 0.5 when I'm lashing. And I like for my lash clients to have a soft and fluffy look. So I stick to the 0.3s and the 0.5s. Um, but you will find what works for you. If I am doing a classic set, then the most I will do is a 0.7. On my clients who have like really... Um, thick hairs that can hold a lot of weight. I used to go up to 0.15s. Um, and we will talk about like the points, the lengths, the millimeter, all of that stuff in a separate video, but just try to follow me here. Um, now with my classic sets, I will use my 0.3s or my 0.5s in kind of like a cluster technique if that makes sense. Not clustered as in there's no isolation, but clustered as in I'm not fanning what I'm picking up out because I want it to remain tight, skinny, and look like a classic lash. Um, so the whole mink, silk, and all of that just came from marketing. There is no mink in mink lashes. There is no silk in silk lashes. It's all made from um, PVT and it depends on what your manufacturer is curing their PVT with, how they're breaking their PVT down. Um, that is going to either give you that real plastic shiny look that I absolutely do not like. Some people love it. Or it's going to give you that soft, fluffy, um, nice, natural look that I absolutely do love. Um, 
and some people hate the that look it it just all depends on the person so i just wanted to put this quick video out there because we are learning and we are growing together and i'm just here to educate you guys as much as i possibly can on the lash industry um so this video was about the different types of lashes now you are going to be able to make your lashes look like what you want them to look like depending on the um density that you're using the length that you're using how you're fanning how you're picking up if you're not fanning um all of that stuff we will get into in videos to come but you guys will learn as you watch my videos like there the possibilities are endless with lashes um i am going to release a manufacturer list um I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not yet, but um, I will release a list. I know you can do like subscription groups now on certain platforms. Um, so I might just do something where if you are in my subscribe group, then I will give you guys weekly because I've been testing out lashes um, for my brand for the last three years and I finally found a manufacturer that I really really love and they did not complete the project right so I cannot work with them anymore so we're back to the journey of finding but because they didn't complete my project right doesn't mean that they wouldn't complete your project right if I just coached you through how to communicate with them I just can't work with them again because of the circumstances on how we ended but that manufacturer is a really 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 good manufacturer so they will be on the list I've tested plenty of manufacturers for glue I have two top favorites one is for a advanced glue and one is for a um um intermediate glue so i i i'm gonna supply you guys with more and more information as we go i told you guys i'm just jumping back in and i'm getting consistent so um i want to talk to you guys about that today so just keep in mind when you are shopping for lashes um if it says silk you're more so gonna get a like shiny wet look out of the silk lash look um and if it says mink you're gonna get more of a soft fluffy natural look we do not want anything synthetic um if it says synthetic those are usually like the heavier lashes that we just don't we're not interested in those okay um so top two leading um marketing names for lashes that you will be shopping during your lash career are mink and silk and you will decide when you shop lashes what brand you like best what manufacturer if you decide to sell we're gonna have videos on that as well but I just wanted to bring that to you guys so you can keep that in mind there's no mink in mink lashes and there's no silk in silk lashes it's all made of PVT and it all depends on how they break it down so I will see you guys in my next video if there's Anything that you're struggling with or wanting to know more about in the lash industry, leave it in the comments down below. I'd be happy to make specific videos because let me tell you guys, you may think you're the only person that's wanting to learn about a certain topic and there can be plenty of other people that want to know the same thing. So there is no wrong topics. Drop them down below and I will make a video on them for you guys. Um, I will see you guys in my next video and yeah. Bye.